What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna talk about what the differences are between a bowling ball drilled pin up and a bowling ball drilled pin down. Now this is the second video that I'm doing on this topic. And the first one was really well received and it did very well. But I think there's a couple key things that I missed in that video that I'd like to address in this one. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you like the jersey I'm wearing or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, coolwick.com, use my promo code NAPOLIS10 to get 10% off your entire order. All right, so in a nutshell, basically, uh, pin up versus pin down. So pin up is going to decrease the RG and increase the differential. That means that the hook potential is going to be higher and it's going to respond to the friction sooner. So basically when you drill a pin up, the core is going to want to stand up sooner and it's going to flare more, which is gonna create more hook potential. Then when you drill pin down, it's just going to be the opposite. It's going to increase the RG, decrease the differential. So the hook potential is gonna be lower and it's gonna to respond to the friction later. Basically, pin down is going to be a little bit longer, a little bit smoother. Pin up is going to want to be a little bit earlier and a little bit stronger. But the cover is going to dictate everything. And that's going to be the biggest differences that I'm going to talk about in this video. Today, we're going to talk about what bowling balls I look to drill pin down, what bowling balls I look to drill pin up. And to me, this is a pretty simple one. Anytime I get a bowling ball with a low RG, okay, low RG, high differential with a strong solid cover typically symmetrical for me those are the balls that i'm going to tend to look at to be to, to drill them pin down because they're already going to want to be really early really smooth so by drilling them pin down i'm going to get them through the fronts a little bit easier here where i bowl in las vegas there's a lot of friction on the lanes so drilling something pin down is going to be something drilling drilling something pin down that's this strong like this marvel s is going to be a really good thing for me and for my game. And understanding your game is a really big part of this equation. And then pretty much everything else I'm going to drill pin up, especially now that we're not allowed balance holes. But these kind of bowling balls, like this Dark Ops, are prime bowling balls for me to drill pin up. This has a stronger asymmetrical core, but a very weak cover stock. To me, a ball like this will always, always, always be pin up. So I want you guys to let me know in the comments if you guys like drilling balls pin up, pin down, why or why not. All right, so we're gonna start in the pin down ball, which is the Marvel S, and I'll let you guys know before I change. So we're gonna move a little left off that shot. To me, this is like a control kind of layout. I wanna control that friction. It's not gonna do a whole lot. And then one more shot with the pin down one, then we'll transition to the pin up one. Wow, good luck. Right, this is gonna be the same spot with the pin up all the black ops. I do suspect that because it has a much weaker cover, it'll have to move right a little bit. Well, the foul lights are definitely off because I was a pretty big foul and it did not buzz. I'm seeing the core trying to stand up sooner than the pin up or the pin down marble less. But because of the weaker cover, that's why I say cover is everything. The weaker cover is making it get down lane. All right, one more shot here. Let's try to get flush. I'm gonna move in a little. Really try to get through this one at the bottom. All right, so back into the pin down one. Biggest piece of advice I can give you guys is get your path measured by your pro shop and lay out the balls based on your path. Oh, that's a, that's a bad shot. That's a really bad shot. Always working on stuff here, guys, so there's gonna be bad shots. But for the most part, we're going in the right direction here. All right, one more shot here with the down one, and then when we get to the break, we'll talk about what scenarios 
I would throw these balls in and why. All right, back into the pinup ball, the 900 Global Black Ops. Now we're gonna move in a little, like two boards left off that nine pin. All right, one more shot here. This next break is going to be really important here. Oh, couldn't trip it out that time. All right, so coming off the lanes, throwing each of these balls six times, had I been bowling for score, I would probably stay in that pin down Marvel S because of that control factor. It doesn't want to jump off the friction as much, and because it does have a stronger surface or stronger cover, I know like it's more predictable to me on the fresh. So if we talk about the scenarios when I would go to something that's pinned down like this Marvel S, is basically any time that there's a lot of friction to the right that I need to manipulate that friction. And what I mean by manipulate is, is that it's gonna see the friction and it's not gonna wanna jump off of it. It's gonna come off of it nice and round, which is exactly what this Marvel S is doing. And then when I need to get left and kind of shape it a little bit more into the oil, that's when I'm going to get into a pinup kind of drilling because it's going to flare more. It's going to handle that middle part of the lane a little bit easier. And then when it sees that friction, it's going to respond quicker to it than it will with the pin down drilling. So let's get on the lanes, continue to chase both of these left. And you're going to notice that as we chase it left, that Marvel S is going to start to look a little bit worse because of that decreased differential. All right, back into the pin down ball. Biggest thing to take into account here, guys, that bowling balls are tools. You gotta use them at the right time or they're not gonna be good. See it. That was actually a pretty good shot. I didn't think it would come off the friction like it did, so that's a good sign. You can stay in it for longer. That's, all right, I thought that was a really good shot. So let's move left off it and throw another really good one so that we can see here. That was a good one. All right, we're gonna get into the pin up ball now and I'm gonna go right to that last spot I just struck at with the pin down one, just to see how this is gonna handle that. Yeah, this pin open looked really good. Handled that middle pretty good. Had enough down lane to kick out the 10 pin. All in all, really good shot. Oh, a terrible shot on my end. Struck, but bad executed. All right, let's physically execute a better shot here. All right, that last 10 pin there with the pin up one, it's I think 100% because of that weaker cover. So back into the pin down Marvel S, same spot. See it. That was such a good last shot. Let's see if we can repeat it here. Yeah, I mean, seeing this Marvel S roll so good should be no surprise to those of you who follow my league live stream on Thursday nights. This ball rolls so good for me in league. Missed in, it's gonna see it. All right, so back in the pinup ball, the last shot I threw, I flat 10. So I'm gonna move like three right off it, throw the exact same shot and see if I can get it to kick out all the pins here. We'll move another so it'll be like another one right here. Get it more up the lane. See if I can show you guys a more flush strike. All 
All right, so coming off the lanes now, I want to show you guys a picture of each the pin up flare rings, and then in front of me here, the pin down flare rings. Now, the biggest thing I want you to pay attention to is just how different these flare rings are just based on the layout. While the pin up one is an asymmetrical core, the differentials are at least within reason of one another. And the RGs, again, pre-drilling, the RGs are both very similar to one another. So the core numbers of these balls are very similar. And you can see that just by drilling one pin down versus pin up, you're gonna see big, big, big differences here. So we're gonna get back on the lanes, drop that camera angle, so, um, and then we're gonna keep chasing, I think, both of these a little bit left, or at least the pin down one left for sure, and then the pin up one, we're gonna stay a little bit straighter. All right, back in the pin down ball. Like I said, we're gonna start chasing this one left here. I think the best way to think about pin up versus pin down is that the transition between skid hook and roll is going to be at different times between the two. Oh, that was a slow batch. All right, let's uh, throw a better shot. That last one was pretty bad. I'm trying to eliminate that hitch in my top of my swing. That was a nice little messenger here. Let's, let's keep building on that physically here. Whew. Whew, whew, whew. Right back into the pinup black ops. And again, gonna stay a little bit straighter here with this ball. Wow, I thought that hit my foot. <laughs> All right, that hit my foot, so I wasn't trying to get it that far right. Let's throw a better shot here. Oh, wow. All right, I don't know how that messenger did not get there. Let's make a good shot here. There we go. We're gonna move left again with this pin down one. I just wanna see what the limits are gonna be of this ball when I bowl in these high friction environments. No way that sees it. Yeah, I was gonna say that, that's too far left. So I'm gonna move a little bit right, but still further left than I was. See if I can get this thing to go through the pins from a little bit further left. So that's going to be the limit there of a pin down ball. Like you can't get that far left because it's going to increase that RG and make it smoother. Oh, ho, ho, dirty eight pin. So where that pin down one missed, I'm going to go to the pin up one, kind of bring that speed down a little bit. See if I can get it to go through the pins. See if that makes it. It was definitely closer, but yeah, for the balls I brought with me, neither one are gonna allow me to get that far left. So let's move right to where I think this Black Ops, the pinup ball can look pretty good. There we go. All right, last shot of the video here, guys. Hope you guys learned a little something. Let's end on a good note here. All right, well, there you have it. There are the differences between a bowling ball that's drilled pin up and a bowling ball that's drilled pin down. I hope that you guys took something from this video. And I think that the biggest thing that I want you guys to understand and maybe experiment with is A, figure out what your positive access point is. Just because you drill a ball pin up or pin down doesn't mean that that is the layout. The layout is going to be based on your positive access point. And then once you have your positive access point, your PAP, I want you guys to experiment with a little bit uh, different layouts. You know, maybe take a low RG, strong symmetrical solid, maybe drill that pin down, give it a try. Or, you know, maybe a ball that you've typically drilled pin down, maybe if it doesn't roll as good, you know, maybe drill one of those kind of balls pin up. 
you know, experiment. Bowling balls are tools, and the layouts are going to fine tune these tools. That's the biggest thing that I want you guys to take away from this video. So click right here to watch another one of my videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time.